I did want... Oh, the EU I was going to talk about, wasn't it? There's an ultimatum! Oh, my word. I love an ultimatum. I do. They make me very happy. Uh, basically, the EU are getting pissed off that the UK isn't doing very much. So, um, Michel Barnier uh, told Boris Johnson to stop pretending to negotiate. And on Wednesday, the French president and um, merciless oppressor of his own people, Emmanuel Macron. See, that? I said that with a bit of an accent. Did you like that? It's good, that, wasn't it? I should be doing yeah. the fucking news. Oh, oh, look at that smug person. I didn't say cunt. <laughs> um, he's been taking a very hard line with the UK. Um, he met with Anti Rin. <laughs> Not Auntie as in Auntie and Uncle. Anti Rin. Or it might be Rinner, I don't know, who is Finland's Prime Minister. Another country. I do not understand why we would give a flying fuck what they think, like Luxembourg. Luxembourg has an opinion on the UK. Why is anyone listening to fucking Luxembourg? Why? And Finland. I'm sure it's a nice place. I'm not even sure it's a nice place. Is it not shit? Do a lot of people not kill themselves in Finland, or is that Norway? Or is Norway the happiest? I think Norway is the rapey place. No, well, that's Sweden. Was the happiest oh. one it until they had that massacre thing going on? Did that take them down a bit? Yeah, right. I think so, yeah. Oh fuck it, Scandinavian shitholes. Anyway, so they've said if the UK wants to discuss alternatives to the existing Brexit agreement, what existing Brexit agreement? There is no existing Brexit agreement. Uh, these must be presented before the end of the month. Apparently, the deadline was agreed, so they've set a deadline. We are both concerned about what is happening in Britain right now and the confusion that is going from there to Europe. Paris is fucking burning. They're the worried about Brexit. If no proposals are forthcoming, I believe that quite a few European leaders agree with the position. Then it's over. Now, now you say, it's like an angry woman, isn't it? It's over. If you don't change your ways in 12 days, you're out. I'm going to tell them you hit me. <laughs> <laughs> now is the time to come up with clear presentations and make them verifiable. So the new deadline gives Mr. Johnson 12 days to produce... Mr. Johnson. 12 days to produce proposals to replace the Irish backstop, which he says he wants to scrap and replace with something else. I'm just not entirely sure what yet, but definitely something else. Um... So there you go. We've got a deadline. Uh, and officials in Brussels are concerned the Prime Minister is wasting their time and playing out talks for as long as possible without presenting proposals, possibly with an eye on an upcoming election. Um, the bloc's chief negotiator, Michel Barnier, uh, told the European Parliament earlier uh, in that day, almost three years after the UK referendum, I don't think we should be spending time pretending to negotiate. I think we need to move forward with a d determination. The reason it's been three years is because we've had Remainers dealing with our Brexit. And Europe are doing what Europe are going to do, which is make it as shit as possible for the UK because they don't want us to leave and they want to make sure nobody else leaves. So they, they've got their position to protect as well. I think Mr. Johnson should put forward some new offers to Europe. Our way or the highway, dickheads. He should definitely say dickheads. Dickheads is very important. The, the, the foreigners appreciate that sort of thing. A firm hand. A firm hand. It's what they understand. Got to use a firm tone of voice. And say things loudly like, I wanted fucking chips for my dinner. That's what they understand. Stop all this pussying about. Stop all this pussy footing around. It's bollocks. Either that or we'll just kick it down the road a bit further and we'll just let it carry on and carry on until they finally find a way to tie us up to some shitty, shitty Norway-style deal so all the kale-eating remain wankers can be happy that they can go abroad and, I don't know, not have to pay £5 for a visa. Whatever the fuck it is these people want, I don't know. I think that's what's going to happen, Graham. We're going to wind up staying in, aren't we? It's looking like it. I mean, I, I, I don't know, man. I, I always think we're going to leave, and then I, I, I'll put, I put uh, Richie Allen on, 
It'll never happen. <laughs> it's, 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 he's, he's almost at the point of actually staking his entire life on, on, on like, no, if we leave, I'm just going to die. I have thought that with Richie, yeah. if we do actually leave the EU, phoning in, we left. Wrong! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got a sneaking that. suspicion he might well be right. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's the thing, man. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is there going to be a day when we've actually left and we're just like, oh, we're out now? I'm. I'm not sure that's ever going to happen. Should be. It'll all be mingled and weird. It should and... be on the thirty first. Yeah, that's when it should be. Britain should just go. Right, that's it. It's the only way, man. All these fucking deadlines and faffing Clean about. Clean break. Yeah, yeah. Clean breaks, like when you split up with someone. Yeah. You don't hang around because that leads to. Problems. Yeah, and you know what? If you've left some of the... You've not got any kids with Europe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just fucking well. Got a couple. No, no, we've got no <laughs> kids with Europe. No problems. They've all grown up and left home. The house is all paid for. We can fucking... <laughs> but Europe want the house, the kids, the record collection, the dog. They want the fucking lot. Alimony. Fuck them. They're not having it. Not having it. Tell the judge it cheated. <laughs> yeah. I caught Europe fucking Asia. There you go. Adultery. West Asia. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Fucking West Asia. <laughs> then we can get on with, yeah, chlorinated chicken and making a deal with the US, which I would be far happier with. I don't really give a fuck about the chlorinated chicken. I'll eat fucking... Half the people going on about, I would never eat chlorinated chicken. We'll eat a fucking kebab on a Saturday night. I know. What kind of minced up sheep faces are you fucking eating? But all of a sudden the kebabs are, you know, fucking chlorinated chicken's a problem. You're eating the minced up shit bits of an animal that died slowly and painfully because they're all fucking halal. Unless you find the one Greek kebab shop fucking left. You're eating that shit. What's chlorinated chicken, man? You'll go and eat a chip shop sausage. Nobody knows what's in them. They're very nice, though. But nobody knows what's in them. We hope it's meat. What part of the I don't know what part. Probably hosed off the fucking bones. But we eat them. But all of a sudden, chlorinated chicken, because it's a political position. You will eat your chlorinated chicken and you will fucking like it. That's how we've got to be, Graham. That's how we've got to be. Play our cards, right? Play our cards. Big fucking cars and guns. Could have the lot. The world's only got 11 years left, man. I don't give a shit about chlorinated well, chicken. Course, Greta what do I told care? Us we're dead, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, little Greta told us. She's a bit fucking miserable, that girl. I know. Never gives any good news. I know. No happy, happy joy. And, and, and no, like, like, you know, let's keep going, guys. It's like, you were doing nothing. Nothing. Well, they had a guy on from that uh, Extinction Rebellion on the radio, on talk radio. And I was, I think I was driving down here and I was listening to it. Uh, not today. Another time. And he started off with, you know, it's all about climate change and I love everyone. I care for everyone. And what we need is these public assemblies instead of government and then we need to make some new rules and all of a sudden it was like listening to fucking Stalin or something not that I've ever listened to a Stalin speech yeah or Mussolini you know he was getting into that kind of vein this is the same sort of prick that I was watching 12 hours of him on TV given the chance they they want they want a voice on every committee every law that's made they want a representative there and, and it's like well, so Doesn't it's, that go a little beyond the environment? Well, it's it's getting into the whole religious side, the way the woke, woke people are going out. It is becoming a secular religion. And and they, they want their thing in the same way that the Christian church used to always have... You know, there was a, there'd always be someone there, wouldn't they, advising and all the rest of it. But they weren't actually advising. They were phenomenally powerful people. And they want the same thing. They want their their religion to be represented at all levels you know it's 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 a creepy um push for power and it disgusts me man certainly is let's have a last look at chat here 